You know that I'ma keep it cool With you I feel like breaking rules Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel and hi if you are new. We are jumping right into today's cleaning video. I am trying to give you as much cleaning motivation as possible. This is about an hour's worth of cleaning packed into one video and I split it up into two 30 minute sections because sometimes that is real life and I only have about 30 minutes to clean at one time. But if you like these kinds of videos, please don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Let's go ahead and get cleaning. We are starting in the kitchen today and I am giving my stove top a good scrub. I always use the glass stove top cleaner to get all of the little bits of dried food off. And then I will go back in with a regular kitchen cleaner or degreaser to clean off the buttons and all the knobs and stuff on the stove. Lately I have been using the Jaws kitchen cleaner and I am loving it. a load of kitchen towels, bath towels, and any of my smaller rugs around the house in for a quick wash. I always try to get a load of laundry going at the beginning of a cleaning routine just because at the end I can turn over my laundry or take it out and fold it. It makes my life so much easier. If you guys like this noodle board I'm putting on top of my stove here, then I will also make sure to link the video in my description box where I show you guys how to make this and a blanket ladder. If you are into farmhouse decor, then you definitely want to check out that video. I do lots of home renovation videos and things like that as well. So make sure you check my description box. I don't have that much time to clean at the very least I always make sure to wipe down surfaces and clean my kitchen sink I feel like this is one area in the house that is constantly dirty I'm always washing dishes by hand in here rinsing out things throughout the day and I don't know if it's because I have a stainless steel sink that I feel like it just looks dirtier faster but I would say that I probably scrub my sink down like this at least once a week let me know if you have a different kind of sink if you feel like you have to clean it less often because it doesn't really show as much dirt I think stainless steel sinks show absolutely everything. got my new kitchen faucet I feel like I am super careful about wanting to wipe down the faucet area and all around the sink I don't want any water spots I don't want any rust so I just really make sure that I wipe that down really good to get all the water off when I'm done and then I'm going to use the jaws granite cleaner to just wipe off the countertops this granite cleaner is amazing I love the method granite cleaner and this one completely blew me away I feel like it makes the countertop shine so much more it also smells really good We've been doing everything we could I don't wanna feel so lonely tonight Every time we spend time I wanna do this for the last time I don't need it, no, I don't need it, no Don't need you here to feel alright I feel like there are two or three cabinets in my kitchen that always have the most spots on them, usually by the sink because sometimes I will get stuff on it from washing dishes. And then I also feel like where I'm preparing food always has little splatters and stuff. So I always try to make sure to wipe them down since they are white. But now we're gonna move on to the bathroom and I am going to use a disinfectant in here just to clean off the tray that is in the corner and then I'm gonna use it on the countertops as well. And when you don't have very much time to clean, at the very least, always try to get 
hit those surfaces. Just checking in to see if you are motivated yet to get up and get cleaning. I always love to know what you guys are doing while you're watching, so let me know in the comments. Are you sitting and watching or are you cleaning along with me today? We are moving on to my office and this is an area of the house that gets pretty neglected. I spend a ton of time up here doing things on my computer, editing, doing my voiceovers and all kinds of things like that, but I am really bad about cleaning it and straightening it up because I just get very, very busy. But I am just moving some things out of the way so I can vacuum. I have a ton of cords behind my desk. I don't know how to mitigate this problem. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know because I'm about ready to do a office renovation and some decorations decorating in here and I have so many cords. My printer cord, my computer cord, I have chargers and all kinds of things and I just feel like there's got to be a better way to make it look neater in here. So if you have any suggestions for how I can do that, then definitely let me know in the comments. Did you call me cause you had to? Cause you know I throw your suitcase out the window. Like I said, I'm going to be doing an office renovation and decorating this office space here pretty soon and I cannot wait to film that for you guys. I have had so many plans for this space, but it is definitely the last on the list in terms of priority. I feel like my bedroom and my office is just really me that hangs out in here most of the time, so it doesn't really matter. But I am ready to try to make this the space that I have always wanted it to be. And I feel like the side that you're seeing right here of my office has all the furniture. It's kind of where I do most of my work. And then the other side of my office where I have my camera set up is pretty empty. And I'm going to hopefully turn that into a filming space so that I can make lots more great videos for you guys so I cannot wait to share that process with you so make sure that you're subscribed to my channel with your bell notifications turned on so you never miss a video out the paint colors for this room as well and so I am very excited to start on that in the next few days and then be filming that for you all as well I think I'm gonna try to get the office video out first because I definitely need to get that space done my master bedroom like I said is not always the biggest priority because no one really looks at it but I am really excited to change out a few things in here and adding paint on the walls is going to make decorating so much easier. I have not had any curtains on any of my windows so I'm really excited to start doing window treatments and artwork on the walls. It has just been such a long process renovating the house and I cannot wait to share the rest of it with you guys. Now it's clear we are here back at your house and I keep fading into the background. I'm wide awake now you keep missing out for sure.
last spot we are tackling in today's video is vacuuming downstairs. I always try when I don't have a lot of time to clean to vacuum all of the rugs and carpets in the house. This is just a super easy way to freshen up the space, especially if you have guests over, having carpet lines in your carpet always makes it look so clean. And then I always try to hit my surfaces as well, any of my bathrooms clean and countertops and tables and things like that wiped down. I feel like you don't have to do a deep clean, especially if you're having guests over, but just doing a little bit of spot cleaning and it only takes about an hour. I would say I broke this up into two 30 minute sessions, so it really wasn't that much time to clean, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that it gave you tons of cleaning motivation. Make sure that you hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and that you are subscribed to my channel and I will see you guys again very soon with a brand new video. Bye guys. Won't you be mine? Won't you be